Welcome to the Professor Slots Podcast. You know how you put a lot of time and energy into your slots play for not nearly enough wins? Yeah, I get it. I'm here to help you change that. If you're trying to accelerate your slots momentum, become more profitable, and win more than ever before, today's episode will help you move forward with confidence. And now to help you with over a decade of experience working with slots enthusiasts just like you, here's Dr. John Friedel, also known as Professor Slots. Hello, Slots Enthusiasts. It's great to hang out with you again for another Professor Slots podcast episode I do every few days to help you improve your slots performance, leave with your winnings, and ultimately change your life for the better. And hopefully I'm going to change your life a little bit today so you can visit your casino and play slots smarter. And sometimes the best way to do that, to change Slots Enthusiasts' lives for the better, is when they enter a business relationship with us. They become a client. They buy our online course. They start getting coaching from us, whatever the case may be, because you have ways to take advantage of your casino, which allows you to impact how much you win and then leave with your winnings. I'm your host, Dr. John Friedel. But please, call me John. I help slots enthusiasts improve their gambling performance with next-level tactics and strategies. Want to accelerate your slots journey, be more profitable, and understand casinos better to take advantage of them? I have over a decade of experience working with slots enthusiasts just like you, so you're in the right place. In case you missed it, on my last episode, I went over getting a hand-paid jackpot with a small $100 bankroll, the Idaho slots industry, and provided a Q&A session from one of my prior live streams. Hope you enjoyed listening to my last episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Today's episode number 185 includes a review of the slots industry in Illinois later in the episode, followed by a Q&A session from a prior live stream. But I'll begin for you today with top 10 ways to know a slot machine is hot or cold. The better you know your casino, the more you win at slots. In this episode segment, I'll briefly describe 10 ways to tell whether a slot machine is hot or cold, plus a bonus at the end. The first way to know if a slot machine is hot or cold is my five spin method. More accurately, it's an advanced use of my five spin method, which works at every casino instead of just those casinos which give out tastes. Once you've learned the five spin method described by its name, something interesting happens. You get better at using it. The five spin method becomes a slot machine assessment tool. To start, make five minimum bets on 20 slot machines. You'll know immediately if there's a hot slot machine among them. I say start because you'll soon learn to move away from picking any slot machine and instead make better choices, which I'll explain with my other top methods for learning hot and cold machines. The second way is must hit by progressive jackpots. Even when not labeled as such, on the screen of a slot machine with progressive jackpots, many casinos have set up their progressives to have unlabeled must hit by amounts. Learning what those amounts are takes time, but not bankroll. If progressive jackpots show a must-hit-by amount, it takes little time or bankroll, but labeled or unlabeled, this approach requires the virtue of patience. The third way is free play, a casino complimentary gift. What's your plan when you use free play from the casino? Do you waste it? Or do you make the most of it by evaluating slot machines you've already identified as candidate winners? But can you use free play this way? If you pull your entire free play down from your player's club to your slot machine, then spend it all, that's a waste. Do you know how little of it you can pull to your machine? Is it a minimum of $5 or is it less? The less you can pull down, the better. See if you can pull down enough only to make five or 10 minimum bets. First, figure out what machines are candidate winners, then use free play to your advantage to test those candidates to find the winners. Free play lets you do that at no cost to you. If you have a plan, that is. Do you? The fourth way is massive casino promotions. Casinos want promotions attended by many players. That's why they have them. But casinos don't always get what they want. Sometimes promotions are duds. There are two great ways to take advantage of promotions. One for successful promotions and another for any promotion. A well-attended promotion will delight the casino. But come back early the following day to see if they balance their accounting the next morning by giving away a big jackpot or two. The only cost for you should be getting up early to be at the casino before 6.30 a.m. the morning after a big promotion. You don't need to play. You would be best if you watched for it. Is anyone playing in the high limit room? And did they get a big win? If so, either play yourself or come back the morning after the casino's next promotion to be that person winning. You can also win during promotions, but that's the eighth way, which I'll get to in a few moments. The fifth way is the same as the morning after massive promotions, but instead of promotions, it's celebrations or holidays. Does anybody know the next big holiday? And does anybody remember what Black Friday, the Friday after Thanksgiving, was like last year? I think you do remember. That was huge. 
Need I say more than remind you to review your notes after last year's Thanksgiving events at your casino? Those that remember, you've had a year to plan. Don't miss out on what worked at your casino last year. The rest of you, get ready to learn something this coming Black Friday. And remember to write it down so you can do it again, perhaps better, next year. The sixth way is high limit tips. All these ways may seem separate if you're new to my content, but advanced users know a lot of them are related to each other. And the difference between newbies and advanced users isn't much. If my five spin method works at your casino, if your casino gives out taste, then optimizing my five spin method means visiting your high limit room to make $10 or $20 bets. Not on any slot machine, but candidate winning slot machines. It's the cheapest way to play high limit slots for hand pay jackpots. The seventh way is my deja vu method. It's another approach to take advantage of your casino's business marketing strategies. And not every casino uses every marketing approach. Coming back a week later after you've gotten a win or seen someone else get a big win is how this method works. One week later, on the same machine, five minutes earlier, and play through the same time as that jackpot a week ago to see if your odds are better because that's the casino's marketing plan. This way is a straightforward, thoughtless method at work. The following way requires thought. The eighth way is the same as a deja vu method, but better because it's not thoughtless. This casino observation method doesn't work at new to you casinos because you need to know your casino. What does it sound like when everyone is winning? What does it sound like when few are winning and neither was caused by more people showing up? Calibrate your ears to hear when everyone is winning. That's when you play slots. When nobody is winning, that's when you find something else to do. But remain vigilant. I'd hate for you to have to abandon your expensive buffet just when you sit down to eat because suddenly everyone out on the casino floor is screaming with excitement. The ninth way is highly visible machines. Your casino might have up to three slot machines set up to win in highly visible areas. Most casinos do this. Stand in front of a slot machine. Now turn around. Are other players looking back at you from a bar, cafe, or other machines? Or are you facing a wall? You want the first, not the second. But to use this approach well, you must find the most visible machines. You need to scout your casino. Think about what you're seeing and select candidate winning slot machines, and perhaps play them with my five spin method to find the one winner. Yes, some casinos have a bigger budget and have set up winners at the end of every row of machines, but that's not every casino. Every casino has up to three. And so that you know, somebody's probably sitting at it already. That's what's known as a clue, and you're on your way. Enjoy. The tenth way is banking the bonus. We all love bonuses, even when it doesn't lead to much money. With this winning approach, it's not so much about finding winning machines. My other methods can help with that, but more about knowing when to walk away and being able to leave with your winnings. Most people can't, you know. If you win a bonus, walk away with your winnings. Or pocket some of your winnings, half or more, and only play with the rest if you think the machine might have more wins to give. What's your plan if you win a bonus? Decide now then remember it later during the excitement of a big bonus. Speaking of bonuses, here's my 11th way. It's how to sit down at a slot machine and decide if it is hot or cold. Hopefully you've used one or more primary ways to identify it as a candidate winning slot machine, or not. I call this my tough love approach. Make 10 bets, and if you don't win anything at all, walk away. It's the tough love approach. If you win anything in the first 10 bets, make another 10 bets for 20 total bets. Now this is where the tough love approach comes into play. You won something in those first 20 bets. You decide if it was enough, not if I keep playing, I might win enough. No, have you already won enough in those first 20 bets? It's a tough love approach. If so, continue another 30 bets for 50 total bets and make the same judgment call. If you're winning enough for yourself, then make another 50 bets for 100 total bets. And again, decide if you're winning enough or not. Tough love. In summary, the better you know your casino, the more you win at slots. I briefly discussed 10 ways to tell if a slot machine is hot or cold. Plus, I offered the 11th way at the end as a bonus. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses, including one month free to my Slots IQ membership group, where you get community support and accountability. Visit ProfessorSlots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. In the next segment of the show, I provide a brief overview of the current state of gambling in a U.S. state, territory, or the federal district, emphasizing the gaming industry for slots enthusiasts. Let's go over Illinois' gaming industry for playing slots. Illinois Slot Machine Casino Gambling consists of 10 riverboat casinos, one casino resort, and one proposed commercial casino, as well as video gaming terminals, VLTs, 
in small businesses approved by their local municipalities. The minimum legal gambling age in Illinois depends upon the gambling activity. For casinos and poker rooms, it's 21. For bingo, the lottery, and paramutual wagering, it's 18. The Illinois Riverboat Gambling Act, enacted in February 1990, legalized riverboat gaming on open water outside of Cook County. This restriction protected wagering on horse racing in the Chicago area approved in 1927. Since 1990, Illinois has offered only 10 gaming licenses for riverboat casinos. Originally, riverboat casinos in Illinois had to cruise, but a new state law in 1999 allowed permanent docking and authorized them to have 1,200 gaming machines, including positions available at table games. In 2009, the Illinois State Legislature passed the Video Gaming Act, allowing video gaming terminals in, quote, licensed retail establishments, truck stops, veteran and fraternal establishments, end quote, with approval by their local municipalities. There are well over 7,000 such licensed establishments with a total of nearly 42,000 VLTs. On June 28, 2019, Governor Pritzker signed the Illinois Gambling Act into law, making significant changes to gaming regulations in Illinois. These changes included two casinos, the Hard Rock Casino Rockford, now open, and Southland Live Casino in Calumet City, not yet open. The Illinois Gaming Board hosts a website with extensive and thoroughly detailed descriptions of its state gambling laws for casino gambling and video gaming. Next up is a usually short statement about slot machine private ownership, which I have included in case you live in this U.S. state and are considering owning a slot machine. Here it is. In Illinois, it is legal to own a slot machine privately if manufactured 25 or more years ago. The Illinois Gaming Board, IGB, provides gaming regulations and tax collection for slot machine gambling activities in Illinois. It also has gaming control commissions for other forms of gambling, including the Illinois Lottery and the Illinois Racing Board. Further, the Illinois Casino Gaming Association represents nine of Illinois' ten riverboat casinos. The IGCGA provides statistics on charitable giving by the riverboat casinos as well as supporting responsible gaming. In this section, I'll discuss Illinois gambling establishments. Illinois has 12 commercial casinos, including a proposed casino not yet open. The largest casino in Illinois is Hard Rock Casino Rockford. The second largest casino is Hollywood Casino Joliet. There are 12 commercial casinos in Illinois. As usual, when there are too many casinos to mention here, a complete list along with the casino map are on my webpage for this state at professorslots.com il. Retail locations in Illinois offer video lottery terminal gaming machines controlled by the Illinois Gaming Board. VLTs at local businesses equate to over 34 casinos of a similar size as its riverboat casinos. Retailers getting VLTs continue to grow quickly. Illinois has no federally recognized American Indian tribes. Therefore, there are no tribal casinos in Illinois. As an alternative to enjoying Illinois slot machine casino gambling, consider exploring casino options in a nearby state. Bordering Illinois is to the north, Wisconsin, to the east, Indiana, to the south, Kentucky, and to the west, Iowa and Missouri. To visit any of my articles on these U.S. states, simply visit professorslots.com, followed by its two-letter postal designation. For example, my Wisconsin Slots article is available at professorslots.com WI. Illinois has established theoretical payout limits of 80% and 100% over the lifetime of a slot machine. Further, the IGB provides monthly return statistics for video gaming. In January 2022, the statewide average player win percent was 91.7% for all VLTs at retailers. Use the Video Gaming Review Reports search tool under Monthly Reports to find the player win percentage, that is the amount won divided by the amount played, for a specific licensed retailer offering video gaming. In summary, Illinois slot machine casino gambling consists of 10 commercial casinos, one casino resort, one proposed casino, and 41,000 plus VLT electronic gaming machines at 4,000 plus local businesses such as bars, restaurants, and other licensed non-casino locations. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with a 30 days to play slot smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses, including one month free to my Slots IQ membership group, where you'll get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. Next up is the question and answer session for my initial rendition of today's topic from a prior live stream. I'll talk with you again afterward. Enjoy. Okay. So uh, welcome, everybody. I, I kind of hit the mark on my uh, 20 minutes or so of uh, presenting and uh, welcome, everybody. So let's see what the questions are. Uh, and start getting to those so people don't have to wait too much longer while I 
rattled on about how to win slots <laughs> as usual. Um, uh, and Frenzy says, uh, found a game called Cash Man Kingdom. Let's see. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Cash Man Kingdom and Coin Trio, both by Aristocrats. Okay. What are your thoughts on the instant feature, buying a bonus? Uh, yes. Was that, um, would more, was more than one person asking about that? I, I thought um, maybe it'll come up. Uh, so, so how, how this is working is there's this whole online slots community that's not the same as brick and mortar casinos and stuff stuff is going on there there's things that are popular and the slot manufacturers they they do both right they they do the the brick and mortar casinos the the, the modules the um, the cases they they the cabinets they call them and they put those in the casinos but they also make the games for online and one of the things they're trying to say it's not a one to one relationship um, but they they some people like something a lot on online games and it just fails at uh, in the casino and vice versa. There's very popular games in the Lightning Lincoln, et cetera, that are very popular in the casino. But online, they're just like, you know, that's not, it, it, it's a different environment. So one of the things that's going on in online slots is pay for bonuses. You know, if you want a bonus, you can pay it. You know, it's normally a, a penny machine and, and you know, it's your, you, you might bet like $4.70. But if you want to spend 30 bucks, you will get a bonus. That's a feature that's on online slots. And that's being brought by the slot machine manufacturers into casinos. Hey, guaranteed win. You, you know, if you really enjoy bonus Bonus rounds, there's a way you can get them, so you will get them. Oh, uh, nobody said anything about winning money. You know, you probably won't get your $30 back. But, you know, people would rather, it's, 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 they're so interested in bonuses that they're willing to give up winning anything with it. They, they just enjoy the fun of a bonus. And, you know, it's, it's, you think about that and you're like, you know, the slot machine manufacturers, that's, uh, that sounds like one of the interesting ideas. And, you know, there's plenty of people out there who'd be like, guaranteed bonus, sign me up. Uh, so, so what if it takes, um, you know, one seventh of my $200 bankroll? I got a bonus. Uh, and then they don't win. And, and so it's all sort of like, how do they say um, it when you're doing negotiations? If everybody's a little bit unhappy, then you, then you did a good negotiation. <laughs> uh, so uh, so the, buying a bonus is um, a marketing scam. It is popular. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say scam. Uh, it is people want it. People got it. Uh, and I... I Nothing good to say about making money from that because people are just kind of make the assumption, well, if I get a bonus, I will get money. But we're all kind of learning in the last year or two that, no, you're not necessarily, uh, you know, you make a $4.70 bet, you get 636 games. I had a live stream on it like a month ago uh, from somebody who was reporting back to me about, about you know, 696 Free, uh, free play, and you know they they made a uh, our, our free games, and they made um, what was it a like a four dollar and seventy cent bet, and <laughs> they got back like three bucks. <laughs> um, and we, we've gone over some of the uh, some of the things that are possible there. Um, and so yeah, uh, oh yeah, this is where I saw this, uh, Camilla. Yes, another person had the same question. Uh, you can buy a bonus on some games. Yeah, uh, you know what do you? Tell me what you think of it. Yes, you can buy a bonus. It's something that came from online slots, and it's and it's here, and it's coming out for more. Would you give up your bankroll? Um, this is not a win. This is just, you know, hey, I got free games. Nobody said anything about you winning money. Uh, and so it's bonuses are so popular right now, and I really do worry about they're being taken advantage of, uh, people being taken advantage of because they're high interest. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, high demand and you got it. And and, uh, and Alan says five spin worked for me today. Uh, 
uh, whenever there's a casino prize giveaway, uh, it seems slots are super tight. Yes. Uh, I, yes, I had somebody comment on like the first comment or something like that on my holiday uh, schedule, my, my promotions uh, strategy. And they said, don't go during holidays. Don't go during big promotions. You don't win that way. And I was like, dude, you had to listen to at least 30 seconds of the video to say, to realize that I was saying, come the next morning. <laughs> so yes, uh, casino prizes, uh, giveaways, uh, tight uh, slots are super tight. Now, uh, it sometimes loosen up, loosens up when the crowd starts to like, they've spent a lot of money and they're starting to get a little angry and then kind of like it loosens up because casinos know their customers very well. If this is a typical Friday night with a typical Friday night giveaway or end of month, they've had hundreds of these every Friday night. They've got that, whether or not it's, they, they know their marketing data. They know what it's like on a winter day when it's snowing or raining or the sun is shining. They know what kind of response they'll get from the crowd. And they, it's, you know, again and again and again and again. So they use that. Um, people will get upset when nobody's winning and there's a lot of people there and then everything kind of like gets better uh, and everybody starts winning. And it just kind of like you're they're, the casino's working the crowd. So yes, they are super tight, but watch for when they make that switch for an hour and then be careful not to play past when everybody's winning. And you can hear this with the sound method, uh, with the casino environment method, you can hear all this and, um, you know, watch for them to loosen it, but then tighten it back up again. Uh, Naomi, uh, thoughts on casino cruises, especially uh, victory uh, uh, cruises in Florida. Ah, so so not not you're talking day trips, okay? Um, going to Florida in December, considering going. Uh, so how this works is uh, there are people who go all the time on those day cruises. They 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 go out to international waters. There's there's no there's no um, uh, what do they call them? State rooms. There's no places to stay. It's all casino and maybe food. And people go out and what happens? And it's a little, a little sad, a little funny, a little sad um, when uh, these people who go regularly get on board, they run from when they're kind of like through the gate, you know, is, what is it? Uh, run like somebody just left the gate open, you know, sort of like the, the dog uh, memes. They will run to their machine to be able to get on their their machine and play it on, on these cruises. And they'll abandon their canes, their walkers, their their um, powered vehicles, you know, they, they will abandon all that just to get to their machine and be on it for the entire trip. Um, and so if you can, are you a runner? <laughs> are you not afraid to kind of like beat them at that? Uh, you know, be aware that you should get there first to get ahead. But even then, it might not work out very well because you need to know which machine is the winner. They know which machines are better um, because they've gone and they've gone and they've gone. Uh, but you need to find out which one is the winner. And then on the second trip, beat them to that machine. And that's how you win on day cruises. Now, the other kinds of cruises, the the seven-day cruises that we often get as um, a you know, great prize from casinos to go on a cruise. I've been to the one in, to Alaska, the one in uh, Western Caribbean. Why I went to a hot place, I don't know. My sister was just got a divorce and she just, you know, I, I love my sister. And so I took her and um, I, I, I worked in the shadows on my book uh, and, and she enjoyed herself and a lot in, in Jamaica and all those other places that we went to. And I was just thinking about Cozumel today and it was, you know, got in a Jeep and we went out snorkeling. It was awesome. But, but, um, so on the seven day cruises, what you want to do is uh, play slots like the the first day is usually starts at noon. And so it's not a full day. So the second day is like the I, I'll, I'll call it the, the first full day. Uh, there's a second full day. Those are the two days you want to play because anything after that. And one of my fans you know, contacted me. and was like, you, you said that in the past live stream. And we went and my, my wife won thirty eight hundred dollars. And then she 
put most of it away, but she kept a little to see whether or not she would win again later in the trip. And it was all, nobody was winning. And so she verified both the win and the not winning part, but didn't lose all of her money. And I was, I, you know, free advice. That's what, that's what I'm all, I'm all about, free advice. But, you know, there's so much free advice that that's why I offer the course in order to take people through the step-by-step process in a convenient, fast, easy way. If I, you've got a trip coming in December, you could get through the course quickly. Um, in that time, uh, in a month, 30 days. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, so that's the situation for Victory Cruises. It's a day trip, and there's a lot of people who who know the machine. They want to get on, and they get to their it fast, and you, you might not if you haven't been before. I think your second trip might be the one that's better, uh, but you will have to do a little bit of running to get ahead of them. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you, Naomi, for your excellent question. Uh, Frenzy says range was from fifty dollars to two hundred fifty dollars to buy, depending on. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, um, uh, when I was hearing about it, uh, it was thirty thirty bucks that I was hearing about. Uh, yeah. $50, $250. Hey, somebody likes it. The, 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 it. They would test it out with 30 bucks. And then if anybody liked it, they would just, you know, whatever the market will bear. And given the excitement of everybody asking about it. Uh, yeah. How much would of your bankroll would you uh, go to get a, a, a bonus? Um, uh, not that you would win money, but to get a bonus and, you know, 300 bucks. Uh, and the likelihood <laughs> of of winning anything, you know, that's all kind of a thing in the past, but not everybody realizes uh, that's where the direction is going. Uh, Jason says, always play and uh, free play, always play in high limit. If total free play is $50 or more, $5 minimum bets on double diamond. <laughs> um, so Jason, we should mention that you're in Southwest Ohio, uh, Southwest Michigan. You're at Fire Keepers. So everybody, there's a double diamond in the high limit room at Fire Keepers Tribal Casino in Southwest Michigan. And and if you see someone that looks like it might be a Jason, <laughs> sitting at that machine, you can just say, you said I could. <laughs> um, and FF Chef says, I can attest to the deja vu method. A lot of people can. A lot of people can. Um, and question from uh, uh, Noel. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a little surprised that I don't have a bigger uh, like audience. Um, how many people are here today? Oh, 92. Wonderful. Uh, and I guess I picked a good topic name. Uh, but it's it's like you know do you want to win or not <laughs> and, uh, okay so uh right question from noel uh noel question will the odds be better in the high limit versus the main floor for the same game in general no uh if you look at the return statistics for um uh, recently iowa came out with uh, return statistics, monthly return statistics by slot machine denomination. But for years before that, I was looking at the six that provide that. And I, I went looking, uh, and it, and at the different six different, uh, uh, states that have return statistics by slot machine denomination, one of the high limits, and I call high limits being above $1, one denomination High limit denomination was the best of all of them at half of those state return statistics. And then one of the low limit denominations, $1 or less, was the best. And I did that a couple of times, and it was always that way. Not all of the high limit number, high limit denominations were better. One of them was best. And not all of the low limit, low limit denominations was, was best one of them was best and that's it's pretty evenly divided uh and so there's this myth out there and it's just a matter of misunderstanding math um oh well i you know it, it's kind of take it to extreme uh, i get more hand pays than high limit machines well yeah pretty much everything that you win on a hundred dollar machine is a hand pay you know it's pretty unusual not to get a hand pay uh, and, and so, you know, and, and people take that to mean the odds are better. And it's like, no, it's not how math works. <laughs> um, 
uh, and sale ready. Hi, sale ready. Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, when none of the 10 way, uh, ways uh, did not work well, what would have gone wrong during the uh, play that I might have done? Um, okay, so I back up. Uh, the, uh, the I briefly discussed each, each of these, and I'll take it um, as, as, you know, that you've tried all 10, um, maybe took the course, maybe I think you did, uh, uh, and and dug into each one because each one of them deserves attention. And I just briefly covered them. Uh, and uh, uh, so um, did I answer your question, Noel? Uh, uh, if it, the odds are different depending on the denomination. Uh, and even if it is the same machine side by side on the high, on the low limit floor, it isn't going to have the same denomination. It could, but why would it? Um, it's a choice of the casino. Okay, so if they the ten ways don't work, um, you have to ask yourself: Is it possible to win? Are you in Iowa? Um, I have articles on every state, and let's see, I have an online resource I can share with you, uh, and you really need to learn whether or not um, your, okay, so I will, I will put that in and so you can see it. Um, right, so let's see, where are we at there? Yes, so professorslots.com slash online resource. I've spent years working on this um, and it's, it's kind of like, ah, it's helpful, <laughs> but was it really worth years of my time? Um, so every week I would go through alphabetically each state and I would look at the gaming regulations. And uh, if you go to professorslots.com slash, and then your two letter postal designation, uh, this will, it will take you to this article. And one of the things like, for instance, uh, we can do Pennsylvania, let's do Iowa. Let's do Iowa here. Or if you wanna you know, shout out what your state is, let's do Iowa. And uh, so this is Iowa slot machine, casino gambling, introduction, relevant legal statutes, private ownership, gaming board, uh, then casinos, 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 uh, gaming establishments nearby, uh, what's across the border. There's a Facebook group, which I can't show you because it's private. A uh, bunch of members there, locals who are talking about their casino trip this last weekend and all of that. So this is the theoretical payouts and return statistics section of this. Uh, and um, uh, so I, I give you links to the State Gaming Commission where you can find the gaming revenue reports. And then I try to highlight um, each of the uh, different um, casinos there and what the returns are. But it's something to remember is uh, there's, there's return statistics, but it's also theoretical payouts. The theoretical payout limit. A lot of people get this wrong somehow. Is it too hard of a math or, I'm, you know, the... There's a theoretical payout limit. That's the legal stuff that people talk about. People think that it's, you know, like the gaming commission says what it is. And it's like, no, they say what the lower limit is and they make it so low that it doesn't matter. But there's a few states uh, that put an upper limit on it. Like Nevada has a 75% minimum theoretical payout limit, but they have no upper limit. So making a machine to win on the corner, um, you know, it's not illegal. There's no upper limit, but in Iowa there is. So if you go to Iowa and you're trying to find highly visible machines and you're trying to find a winner, legally, they can't offer it. I mean, casinos are like, you know, this is a great method, why can't we use it? Well, it's not legal. The upper theoretical limit is 99%. You can't even make it 100%. It has to be 90, 90% at most of the amount wagered per machine. So if you're trying to win in Iowa, there's your problem right there. Okay. Uh, or, you know, check your state, see what the rules are. These are why I have consultations, paid consultations to go over all of this and say, you know, if you live on the border between Iowa and South Dakota, go to South Dakota. The, the laws are better for you winning. Yeah. Uh, and so check to see what the gaming regulations are in your gaming jurisdiction and see if it's uh, 
<laughs> Spell check uh, number 11. Uh, okay, I will check that. Thank you. Uh, just throwing a C. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, do you think this is the slot manufacturer from the feedback from their customers about bonus? Why wouldn't it be? It's a smart thing to do. People have, you know, there's, there, have you had a survey from the casino? That information is fed back to the uh, slot machine manufacturer. Not only that, but if you put your card in and you are enjoying playing bonus rounds, uh, and uh, do I have my... Uh, do I not have a moderator? Moderators, come on. Uh, yeah, so um, like I said, I don't have a moderator to take care of those awesome, awesome spam messages. Um, hmm. All right, <laughs> you're all fired. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, so yes, Casinos have your marketing data from going to, um, yes, yeah, sorry about not having a moderator on today. Um, I assume they would be here. Um, but there are there's feedback they get in a couple of different forms. Some is directly from customers, some are directly from the casino that says, you know, that bonus machine is played all the time and we have numbers to support it. And the slot manufacturers are like, you know, okay, so what can we do? We can we can make more machines with better bonuses. And if people are willing to pay and the casinos are like, well, I'm willing to pay for that. And you know, they have this negotiation and then um slot machine manufacturers, well, there's a couple of different ways we could do it. So let's do it the way that it, it should be done and um yeah that that is it's a whole thing it's a whole big thing um yeah uh yeah bali's bought uh, dover downs yes um why am i drawing a blank here maine right uh i have one much less yes they give away more free yes they, they have to pay for the purchase they spend a lot of money on the purchase uh, and, um, you know, they want that back, uh, a great time. But, and, and the thing to remember is before it was sold in order to be sold, the casino who the operator, the owner uh, that had it, um, they were trying to make it lo look like everybody's happy here, everybody. So they let people win to improve their possibilities on getting bollies to purchase it. So the reason why you're, you know, win much less is two reasons. One is they were upping the wins to make everybody happy and telling the new buyer, well, everybody's happy. And then the second thing is the new buyer comes in and says, okay, we're not going to reduce it down to normal. We're going to, because, you know, it's high and we're going to reduce down. We're going to drop it even lower. So you basically see two effects. Um, I hope you had a good time winning. Uh, before Bali's bought it. It's going to be a, a few years. Uh, Cincinnati, downtown Cincinnati was installed by Horseshoe. Uh, and uh, it was, you know, great uh, uh, um, for the first year. Uh, I mean, awesome. I got the seven star status uh, in, at Caesars Rewards in six weeks. That's how good it was. Uh, and, uh, you know, Never experienced anything like that. And then the next year was pretty good, pretty good. Uh, basically did about the same thing, only it took about eight months instead of six weeks. So it was still winning, but it was harder. Um, and then the next year uh, I went back and I was writing a book at that point, had won a car and I went back um, and, and saw some of my friends there. And I, uh, I said, or one of them, uh, and I was like, Marty, where, where is everybody? Oh, they all went into bankruptcy. So people, you know, they thought they were lucky. And then, you know, if only I just bet more than, you know, what happened. So yeah, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. Um, where are my moderators? So Dustin, I am trying to find your question, your question. Ah, uh, Dustin, please add a, um, you, you forgot a hashtag question because there's always these comments going back and forth. How hard is it to hit on a 50 cent slot machine? Um, what's your goal? So you, when you say 50 cent, are you saying 50 cent denomination and you're making 
no, well, 50 cent machine or, or 50 cent bet. Um, the hardest one to win on is a penny machine. So I don't know if you're saying 50 credits on a penny machine for a 50 cent bet, or if you're saying a 50 cent denomination uh, and one or a hundred credits. So if it's a penny machine, it's the worst odds. Just everybody, all the returns say that. Uh, so if you can, if it's a multi-denomination machine, just make the same 50 cent bet, but change it over to two cents denomination. And that'll help you right there. Uh, it'll be a big difference. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad you, that you mentioned that, that you asked me to answer that. Um, I, I really do need that hashtag question. Um, uh, and let's see, Dover Downs. Uh, tch, tch, tch. And uh, back in black. Hello, John. Uh, who are you talking to? My name's J O N. <laughs> Sorry. I have name jokes. Uh, we'll, we'll be in Vegas in a couple of weeks, weeks of Thanksgiving, which casinos have the five spin method that you and others in your audience are aware of. We'll be trying as many as uh, as many of your strategies as, as I assume you went on to a, another one. Um, all of them. All casinos on the strip have it. That's what myself and my audience have found out. Now, it's adjustable. So you have to use the five spin method, minimum bets, even though they have taste, it's not about finding out if it has, if they have taste, it's about, are they setting things to win right now? Avoid weekends. I have a playlist on uh, your Las Vegas visit. Maybe go listen to that. There's a pre-trip preparation. There's a during the trip, you know, what to do. And there's a post-trip because most people don't go to Vegas once. And so part of going to Vegas is preparing for the next trip. You can have a paid consultation with me. You can go to um, Professor Slot's consultant. I, I probably get more, um, no, put that in. And you can see it and you can decide. Um, that should come up. Yeah, well, you can just go to, um, yeah. So let me share that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You can go here, see my mouse, uh, and you can go to consulting right there on professorslots.com and that will take you to the page. You can read all about it. And I get a lot of people who are like, uh, can, you know, got a trip to Las Vegas coming, seems like an investment to spend um, less than $200 uh, talking to you for an hour about what to do. Uh, and um, yeah, or you can just watch my free content. Nobody has to buy anything. Uh, and thank you, Michael, for uh, your help uh, in, in saying that. Um, I have to keep an eye on the... <laughs> uh, and yes, so Kevin Smith. Are you my... Kevin Smith, my uh, moderate, my um, uh, my old boss at, in Connecticut? <laughs> Are you Kevin D. Smith? Uh, probably not. Um, uh, so I have a quick question. Have you noticed when you put in a $20 bill, your chances are better to get a bonus round or free spins versus putting in a $100 bill? I've noticed when I put in a $100 bill, I usually uh, will get a bonus up when my money is around $30 or so. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about that lately. When the money starts to run out, uh, they're winning. But this is, this is a perception thing. Um, it could be true, but it's definitely a perception thing. So um, uh, what I encourage is people to um, <laughs> um, uh, just, Sugar Moon Garden is late. I see you. Uh, um, if your records support it, if you see this every time, um, when we start running out of money, we kind of wake up a little bit and, and that's how we're kind of like, well, I win, I win more when I'm almost out of money. Well, you're kind of like awake more. Uh, and, um, I'm not saying it's not true, but there's, you gotta like get objective about it instead of subjective about it. And I hope, um, you know, and it's easy enough to do that, but you have to sort of, uh, um, yeah, you, you, you have to uh, uh, sort of, um, you know, decide if the facts support it. 
Uh, everybody, if you're going to ask a question, make sure you ask hashtag question beforehand. Um, I'm looking at you, Stu. Uh, question: Does Casino care if you haven't been if you'd haven't been visited? If if you haven't visited, um, uh, yeah, they, they 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 care about where their money comes from. Uh, if you have a, a large theo, if you have a large um, average day, daily theoretical, they might care a little bit more. You might, you know, if you have a host, they might call you and ask you where you've been, you know, come on in. What can we do to entice you? Otherwise, not so much. And, uh, uh, you know, there's when I had a and when I had a host, I had a nice conversation. I, I asked questions like Professor Slots asked questions, right? So I asked questions. And one of them was, how many people have you been assigned? How many, you know, uh, people are you host to? And he said, that one host, he said, 900 people. And he said, some of them are you know, they're, they're all people who get a host. So the top tier or the second to top tier, but some of them are just visitors and they came one time and they're trying to get the casinos, trying to get them back. So he's on his list. He makes calls, he does the whole thing and he keeps track. And it's all that, that sort of like system in place. Uh, and, uh, but you know, if it's, if you don't get a host, then it's, you kind of like get put into the system a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, um, I really wish my moderators were here today. Uh, I apologize for the awfulness of the spam. Uh, this is, uh, I, I blocked them, uh, but they've got uh, other accounts set up. So they just re-log in and re-log in and re-log in and re-log in. Oh, I should mention, um, be sure to like this live stream. It's kind of, a, <laughs> I, I don't want to say I'm taking advantage of the, um, uh, taking advantage of the YouTube algorithm, like I take advantage of casinos, but uh, uh, liking is a good thing. Uh, so uh, please. Um, yep. Uh, and if you have a question, ask uh, hashtag. Uh, and um, and I will see you later. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, sorry. I don't mean to say I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, I can't stand rude people. Uh, hashtag question. John, have you been to Montana? Where's Montana relative to Nevada? Did I drive through Montana to get to Nevada? I don't think so. Um, have you been and tried any of the little casinos on almost every corner of a decent sized town? Any strategies uh, on the uh, Kino games or the... Uh, it kind of got cut off there. Um, uh, so, you know, if we go to, let's go to Montana. I'll share that up, oh, come on, come on, okay, there it is. Okay, and so Montana, professorslots.com slash MT. So if we look at this, uh, um, there is gaming board. Usually, I uh, so there are bars. There's one thousand over one thousand bars, taverns, and other retailers. They have, must have a liquor license, uh, and uh, they offer a total of fifteen thousand video gaming machines. And what are the rules for them? Let's see. The rules are that the maximum theoretical payout limit is ninety two percent. <sighs> what is that? The, like the lowest in the nation? That is the maximum on those machines. That uh, it's eighty percent. The minimum is eighty percent. Maximum is ninety-two percent. If you're not winning, it's not legally possible. I mean, you can have a win that would be more than you bet, and then you just get out. But any long-term play is not going to be over ninety percent, ninety-two percent return. Huh. You know, good to know, right? <laughs> what are your chances? Uh, yeah, so not a good thing. Uh, you can walk in, win, and just leave, and then, you know, you'll be ahead. But that 92 means that the longer you play, that's what it's going to all average out to. Um, uh, 
Let's see questions. Yeah, what you might expect. Um, I'm in Reno and the prices are going up uh, a lot here too. And I, I moved here three weeks ago uh, and uh, it's cost around the world. Yeah, I, get, I go to the grocery store and I get sticker shock and I'm like, wow, oh, you know, so um, yeah, not gonna be buying salmon anytime soon. Um, yeah, so Kevin Smith. Um, Kevin Smith, do you find uh, it when you place a twenty dollars bill in the slot for a bonus run or free spin? Uh, yeah, so I think that was a question that you asked before. When you get low in your bankroll, would you win more often? Um, it is possible, but I haven't found that myself. Um, certainly, I've won on my last, you know, credit, uh, and uh, that's I've experienced that. But I wouldn't say it was a trend. Um, I certainly do become like. Am I going to be able to stay? Am I going to be able to go? Oh, I got to win. Okay, I'm going to be able to stay. And that I remember that. Um, but I'm willing to believe it could happen, but I want to see data on it. I want an objective experience because the subjective is really having a big influence. This is where was this is, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I Crazy prices. Uh, Vegas Strip is overrated. Uh, costs are nationwide. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, and well, um, uh, Le Le Laverne says something has changed. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, what's happening is we are entering the big season. In January, February, everybody goes on vacation and uh, because and nobody, I mean, the casino employees go on vacation uh, and yeah, uh, Delaware, yes. Um, yeah, it's it's the ups and downs of the gaming industry. Uh, let's see here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, question, how can a slot machine be considered tight loose if they operate by random number generator? Um, so that's an odd question. Um, uh, you don't know about the theoretical payout limits that um, half the states have. They have a minimum, there's a maximum, and casinos get to operate within those legal limits. So I'm not sure if you know what tight, and are you saying machines aren't tight or loose? And that doesn't exist because I saw an, uh, uh, an interview with Aristocrat re uh, recently on one of the other slots channels. And um, yeah, listen to who you're talking, you know, if you're going to listen to an interview like that, be careful of, of, you know, whether it's somebody who's bought and paid for by the casinos uh, telling you stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of denying out there. Um, there's that people are saying there's no such thing as, central servers there's no such thing as tight or loose it's all an illusion uh and it's so sad to see that um the way i figure it the people who are saying these things don't have uh, don't have an understanding of what tight and loose means because if they admitted that there were tight and loose machines they can't answer the question of how do you know which one's tight and which one's loose so they deny it exists at all and therefore they don't have to answer it yeah. Sad. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I've I've heard of it. So people are asking me where I've been and what I'm doing. So um, I go to casinos, but uh, and Wednesday is is my day these days. But now that I'm in Reno, um, would you like to see? This is let's see right there. That's Atlantis, and that's my primary casino. And over on the other side is Pepper Mill, and that's my secondary. And I'm thinking about, uh, I went to uh, Atlantis last Wednesday. Wednesday is my casino trip day, um, unless I'm traveling out of state, in which case that's the weekend because I need to <laughs> go between the live streams. Uh, between my noon and Saturday, Saturday at noon Eastern and my 7 p.m. that Tuesdays, I, I have a chance to like get on a plane and go places like Louisiana and stuff. So, um, so I... I, t I have to explain to people that there are about 1,000 casinos uh, in the United States. And uh, uh, and so 
if I were to go to two a week, it would take me 10 years to get to all of them. Yes, I've heard of uh, Jake's 58 uh, on Long Island. Yeah, and if you join my New York uh, Slots Enthusiast Facebook group, you can talk to people that uh, they could be there right now, <laughs> you know, or last weekend or, you know, tonight or tomorrow. Um, uh, so how many hand pays in 30 day span would you consider the machine location is hot? Uh, so, oh, uh, and I want to make sure I acknowledge, let's see here. Yes. Uh, thank you, Rodney. For your donation it is very much appreciated. Uh, congrats on the move. Thanks for another uh, great live stream. You're very welcome. It's not done yet. Uh, so let's see, get back to where I was uh, on, have I been to Jake's? Uh, um, so you can check out uh, what other people think because I can't be at every casino. And if I am, it's like, you know, not, not recent enough for last weekend for you, uh, for others. Um, uh, I, I got collected uh, locals. So locals go to my uh, 56, 57 Facebook groups, one for every U.S. state territory and federal district, and then plus one more, my Professor Slots Enthusiast Facebook group, which has over 18,000 members, uh, and they, they post their wins uh, and how they won, and you can ask them questions, you can search the results, and all of that. So yes, I, I have had a con consultation, and I've checked um, uh, that New York Slots Enthusiast Facebook group. Uh, you can go to Professor, let's see here, um, yeah, let's do that. I will share, and I can say it out loud, but some people need to, to see what I'm talking about. So here, if you type in professorslots.com slash FB for Facebook, FB, uh, this will take you to my Facebook groups, which I don't show because they're private and you have to be a member to see it. Uh, and, and go check it out. Go check out uh, uh, New York right there. And you can... Use the search tool and, and and type Jake's or 58 and see what you get. Uh, last, I, last time I checked, there was quite a few. So uh, Key says, how many hand pays in a 30-day span would you consider the machine location is hot? Uh, I think you're kind of asking the wrong question. If you're making a profit, it's hot. If you have to pay for it, it's not. If you're losing money, even if with hand pays and you're losing money, it's a cold machine. You're kind of being tricked by having hand pays because unless you're making a profit and then how much, you know, when, when people win, you know, and they make a profit, what's they would love to, you know, I asked them, so good enough? And they're like, no, I want more. <laughs> So uh, what is it that you consider to be profit? Um, I, uh, I have won. And when I was spending a lot of money trying to learn more about how to win instead of just like, you know, okay, I'm, I'm stable here. I've done both where I spent money to w learn to win. And that was a 30% profit. Then I sort of optimized and I said, okay, I'm going to stop learning for a little bit. And that's going to be a 50% profit. So between 30% and 50% is what winning is. I mean, yes, you can go in and win mega bucks for $10 million. I'm not counting that. I'm talking about a systematic, repeatable way to win. And, uh, and, and uh, that's about 30 to 50%. So if, you're, if your hand pay is $1,000, walking out with $1,300, you're kind of like on the lower edge of, of what I think, you know, is, is winning. But if you walk out with on a regular basis, $1,500 with you're coming in with $1,000, then you're kind of on the high end and you found a hot machine. Yeah. A hashtag question, everybody for, <laughs> I'm going to send a nasty message to my moderators to see where the heck they are. They, uh, my goodness. Um, 
Uh, so, Allison, uh, what is the best way to gamble at a tribal casino? They all seem to be tight. Not all of them. Uh, they 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 have a lot of restrictions, more so than commercial cas uh, casinos. I I worry a lot more about commercial casinos, you know, being like, well, you know, we can run some risks. Where the tribal casino is sometimes the tribe's only source of income, and it would be like, you know, losing everything if they lost their casino. Uh, and so they they they. They're trying to be more legal, but on the other hand, um, yes, there's a lot of people, um, like for instance, I'm not hearing good things about California tribal casinos. Uh, and those, all of those, um, the card rooms are commercial, but the um, uh, the, tri the casinos uh, with slots are, are tribal and I'm not hearing good things. Um, mostly what you wanna be careful of, this is something that happens with tribal casinos, is they're on a, tr on a reservation. What does that mean? That means they're isolated that the next casino over is two hours away. That's how, that's how it is with Hard Rock Tampa. The nearest casino is two hours away. Uh, um, uh, Seminole Brighton, three hours south of Orlando. You know, it's in the middle of mangrove, uh, mangroves, I, I'm not saying that correctly, uh, middle of the swamp. And to get to it, you have to drive a long way. And the casinos know this. Oh, well, you know, you either come here or you, uh, well, I guess you're just going to have to come here because you're not going to drive two to three hours away. And the casinos know that. But if you're in like Philadelphia then there's casinos right next to one another, they're competing with one another. Um, if you go to Professor, I, I explain all this actually on ABC News. So if you go to uh, ProfessorSlots.com, not to point out references here, but if you go to ProfessorSlots.com, slide all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and I, I can't show you because they had, this is uh, as featured on ABC 27. This is um, Evening News, ABC Evening News, Channel 27, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I gave an interview uh, and they, I, for like four hours and they used like two seconds of me. And I, it was when I made a joke about buffets. You'll see it. But I, they did a good job. And one of the things at the very end that they talk about between the, um, the uh, anchors was why is Harrisburg uh, – Pen gaming uh, uh, so tight. The Pennsylvania has return statistics, so you can just see the numbers. And when up in Pennsylvania, uh, up in Philadelphia, it's not so bad. It has to do with competition. What will the market bear? Yeah. Thanks for letting us know for uh, Laverne, and I'm I'm sorry that the uh, that it's changed from what you remember. Uh, in, in Las Vegas, that's that's uh, fortunate. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, no doubt, uh, uh, trucking and gaming. No doubt, you've traveled that. No, I haven't been up that that far. Uh, um, I've been through there, but that was years ago, and I believe Montana licensed all their. Um, they had a legal. Uh, 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 games in bars and taverns, and then they licensed them, uh, and everybody, uh, you know, paid a three hundred dollar license, and now everybody's taxed, and the state is kind of getting money. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so Matrix says, hello, love your videos. Your way of explaining has hooked me up with uh, your channel. Are online slots good or not? It's a wild, wild west out there. <laughs> they, they are good and not. <laughs> it's just a lot going on. And I dislike those online slots places, which are unregulated, because it's just like fly by night, gone tomorrow sort of things. So there are a few uh, places that you can game where it's, um, you know, it's safer and it's done well. Uh, if you go to professors, uh, and I, I guess I'm referencing, uh, you know, I've like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to show you. So if I go to professorslots.com slash podcast, um, podcast, let me share that with you. Uh, this is where I would recommend that you go see my free content. You can go read, you know, you go to professorslots.com slash podcast, but you can also um, go to any of your apps to find the Professor Slots, Play Slots, Play Slots Smarter and Win uh, a podcast. And what you're looking for is episode number, 
uh, what is it, 165, I think it was, 165, let me check, 165, conversation about online slots with Jesse. Jesse is an IT specialist in security. So he knows about blockchains and all these other things. Is it was it was a long conversation, like an hour long, and we we talked we talked through online slots and what's going on there. So that's probably my best reference for you. Episode one sixty five, Jesse conversation about online slots, and and the basically the answer is good and not in extremely good, extremely bad. Uh, and Naomi says, is there a specific set of theoretical payout limits for cruise uh, cruise casinos for international waters? No. But the thing to remember about um, uh, theoretical payout limits is that the casinos don't use them. They're usually set too low. Nevada's national, uh, the Nevada state average is about 92.7 percent. I'll call it 93 percent. Uh, Indiana's is 90 percent. And their theoretical payout minimum, the theoretical payout limit minimum is 75%. So they don't even get close to this crazy number that the state provides. Why don't they get close? Why don't they just take all the money they can? Well, that's naive to think that they would. Um, they would lose their customers. Casino, 2.5% is the difference between the best casino you've ever been to and the worst casino you've ever been to. I, I talk about it like if you go up 2.5%, you, you want to do a backflip, even though it might kill you. You'd want to do a backflip. That's how exciting 2.5% is. And so, uh, yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, and so, uh, in international waters, they, they can make it zero, but they don't because everybody would get upset. It's a ship. So would a mutiny be involved? So they know that if they want to stay in business, they have to keep it above a certain level because otherwise everybody would get a bad reputation and everybody would just like, you know, they would go out of business. And so people, casinos keep their reputation up by not bringing the slots, theoretical payout limit, too low, even when in states where there is no lower limit. Uh, Noah says, I would, I feel like you pay a bonus the second you put the money into the machine. Absolutely. If people would just ignore that, uh, so they'll take it away. I actually saw this and it costs more than, than you get. Yeah. The, very succinct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in the meantime, casinos and slot machine manufacturers make a buck. Uh, that's kind of how that works. It's a business. Yeah. But then that's, um, uh, let's see. How long before you get out to your local? I was there last Wednesday. Uh, give us a casino report and will you take photos of your play? Um, if I have permission, uh, if I don't have permission, it's illegal. And if I have, so this is, you're, you're talking about a direction um, of my channel, which I have been considering, um, you know, in when I was in Ohio, uh, that many people were able to get a contract with the marketing department. And if they were, it took about three years to get it. And I kind of looked into it, but I didn't get one before I left Ohio three weeks ago. Um, and so you're talking about doing something which everybody else does every other slots channel. That's all they know how to do. They don't know how to talk about finding winning machines or tight machines or what's going on there. Um, it is something that I consider. Uh, and um, I, I do new to me casino trip reports and I just describe, you know, I, I say, stand at the entrance, look that way at Harris, North Kansas city. It's the one on the right. And, you know, uh, people do prefer to have like, a photograph. I have photographs, but I can't share them publicly because I don't have permission from the casino. Um, and all these legal things, uh, you know, if you're a fly by night spammer or whatever, you know, you can do illegal things and there's just, it's a matter of staying ahead of the authorities and I'm nothing like that. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 Jaron says he was at Jake's uh, 58 last night. Excellent. Uh, so that is something I didn't talk about, uh, Giants fan, uh, which is 
one of the, th the strategies on um, there's a the details here. There's, there's a strategy for um, uh, multi-denomination machines where you can make 10 bets on each denomination. And it's fairly easy to find out which one has the best odds. Yeah, this is also something I think people were calling for a little while there. There's names pop up, uh, terms, um, progressive betting, where you kind of like change the credits and you change, you know, it's, it's uh, um, you know, if the data shows that it works great and it sounds like your friend is getting many hand pays, I hope that also means it is getting a, a profit uh, or at least he's paying for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, yeah, I actually, I, I, there's slots channels that are having um, casino executives come in and say that uh, any sort of loosening and tightening is a myth. But they're also um, uh, not saying that loosening and tightening is a myth. They're saying that um, uh, not exactly. They're saying that uh, you know it doesn't um, change the odds when you run out of money. You know, you get down to the last credit, you know, and I, I, I'm, I, I, I feel strongly that the, um, uh, uh, you know, the casino's not doing something to you as you do it. My approach to all this is it's got to be regulated. It's got to be controlled. And so they just they set it up last Friday because they know what Fridays are like. Oh, today we got rain. So, OK, if, you know, we'll run the program, the algorithm for, you know, Wednesday, rainy, rainy Fridays. Actually, we did get rain today. It's raining now in Reno. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's uh, as one of my moderators says, uh, you know, there is. Um, you know, it's the Internet and uh, you guys are smart. Uh, a lot of uh, the things that I've been asked lately on uh, some of my question and answers, my live streams, has been to fix what other slots channels are talking about. And honestly, that's not my job. You know, I, I'm not here to audit other channels and say which ones are right and which ones are wrong because I'm I'm ahead of them. I'll just explain, you know, my job is not to like <laughs> correct um, the mistakes of others. Uh, and unfortunately, that means that you guys have to decide um, what makes sense, what doesn't. So, um, yeah, I will, I will tell you what I know and, and, and share. And, and um, uh, one of the things that happens is when you have a chat, when you have a channel um, uh, and you have more than a few uh, subscribers uh, and you're doing well, the first thing that'll happen is, um, uh, <laughs> and, uh, okay, I see the next question, but hang on. Um, uh, uh, you know, you you see these things um, and you have to sort of like evaluate what's going what's going to happen, uh, you know, what, what they're doing. I try to help out uh, and explain things, but I can't, I can't, you know, censor other channels, you know, it's wrong. And, and, and I just, you know, there's been a lot of damage that's been put out uh, for 10 years. There's a 2009 video. It's just appalling the amount of damage that's been done. Uh, so all I can do is just try to straighten the record. Um, I'd love to figure out how to meet up in uh, either Oklahoma or Louisiana next year. Um, well, oh, I should mention. People have been curious. My house has gotten a second offer. This one is a serious offer and we're under contract. And um, maybe by the end of November, that'll close if it's on schedule. Uh, and uh, that means I'm going to Oklahoma and Louisiana. Well, it depends how much into December it's going to be. So I'm, I'm those are the two trips that I want to make. Uh, and um, you know, send me an email and I'll tell you where I'm going. Uh, Cachada in Louisiana and Windstar in Oklahoma. And uh, there's a few fans there that have said, anytime you come, you know, let me know. Send me an email, John at Professor Slots. Uh, let me just share. This is the bot, the contact information. At, <laughs> and so you can just, uh, you know, right there is, is where you would, uh, let me put that away for you. Uh, yeah, so right here is my email, John at ProfessorSlots.com. Even if you spelled it wrong and said J O H N, it'd still go through. Have you personally won a jackpot? I won ninety uh, jackpots in ninety in nine months, and then I won a car. Uh, and um, I've since won uh, uh, 
uh, jackpots on high limit machines and low limit machines. Yeah, sure. If I went on free play, oh man, that was a great story. Uh, so I, I had a, um, I had a, uh, a promotion where I went to Caesars, a horseshoe actually, um, in the Caesars rewards. And they said, um, how did I read the promotion? And I was like, I got to go to this promotion. And they said, you will get as many entries into our promotion as you have had hand pays in the last three months. And uh, uh, the promotion was to get $2,000 hand pay or $2,000 free play. Uh, and they were going to give out 10 of each. And I couldn't figure out from the rules whether or not if I won one, would I be in the running for another one? I don't know. So, But I saw that they said as many entries as hand pays. So I went to the counter and I, I talk about this in the book. And I went to the counter and I said, um, you know, here's my card, uh, seven stars, top tier. Uh, and uh, the person looked at it and, you know, swiped it and looked at it and said 54 hand pays. And then he was like, looked at his you know, coworker, 54 hand pays. And then he kind of like shouted from the rooftops. So that's sort of like 54 hand pays. And I'm like, yeah. And uh, I had 54 entries. So I won $2,000 in free fry. I went to the high limit room. It took about 30 minutes to, to get it uh, on my card. Uh, and I went to the high limit room and I spent all of it. I did not win a hand pay with it, but I won $1,980 for my $2,000 in free play. Um, did I win a, uh, yes, I think I did. I, I have to remember the particulars of it and check my records, but I did win a, a hand pay on, on free play. It would, it would, it's, it was wild. I mean, I'd get $250 of free play twice a week uh, and I would take it in. And I, I, I had to explain to my aerospace engineering coworkers, you know, that um, uh, I'm, I, it's like going to an ATM machine, only you don't know how much you're going to withdraw. You put the free play in, you play it, you get something. And I've gotten hand pays, absolutely. Yeah, I distinctly remember that. Um, Maurice says, any advice for Las Vegas next week? I was wondering if football games count on an event. Well, it did, it did in Cincinnati, certainly. The, the games would get out, they had hockey and they had football and they had baseball. And the casino's right next door in the downtown Cincinnati casino. And people would come over and that was just crazy nights. Um, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, there's also, uh, you know, it depends if when they get out, if those people are going to the casino, the casino has to be busy. That's what works. And usually the big events aren't the time to win. You can watch for stuff, but it's not like straight through. Usually it's like all tight, except for when everybody starts to get mad and then the casino like gives up a few wins. Like it happens every time they have one of those. But the next morning is what you want to watch for uh, coming in before 6.30. Um, being done by 6.30. Uh, oh, didn't you not see the article? I think it was an article today uh, about how there was, uh, a, <laughs> well, it, it doesn't support your, your question. It actually is against your question. Um, revenue, well, actually it doesn't say either way. There was a report about one of the slot machines at the Las Vegas airport that has brought in $1.6 billion in revenue. But they didn't say how much it had given out just how much it brought in uh, and not the difference, not the profit, not the loss. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Um, it's possible, but um, understand that the airport is in charge of those slot machines and they're not a casino. It's like going to a, um, a, a, a convenience store. You know, the convenience, convenience store is not going to have the technology that can be purchased from slot machine manufacturers to run the casinos. It's just too expensive and airports aren't interested in that. So yeah, you can win on them, but it's more luck based. I haven't found a winning strategy for airports like I have for cruise ships. Um, uh, airports, I they, there's no reason why they'd ever set that up. Yeah. Uh, Yep, I, I, I have been informed um, that Kashada has changed a lot of their of the games uh, recently. Yeah. Uh, does uh, do getting and using a player's card really make a difference? Um, it doesn't make a difference. 
You see what I did there? Um, people are concerned that it would make a difference and it doesn't make a difference. Most hand pays are given out to people who have cards, who use cards when they play. Nothing, you can't really get around that. Um, if you're worried, then don't use it. All you're losing is free play or trips. But if you don't want trips, if you don't want other things, then there's no real loss to you. So, um, <clears throat> so yes, uh, where are we at here? Um, so, yes, uh, excellent. Um, so, improve your slots play in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slot smarter and win. Uh, it, you'll get three free valuable bonuses plus one month free to my Slots IQ membership where you get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. And, uh, you know, okay, that's it. Uh, my voice is kind of getting a little rough here. Um, what a great live stream. Thank you so much. You'll see me in my next live stream on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, I highly recommend you watch this video on a totally legal trick you can use to win at slots. Bye. Improve your slots performance in 30 days or less with my 30 days to play slots smarter and win. You also get three free valuable bonuses, including one month free to my slots IQ membership group, where you get community support and accountability. Visit professorslots.com slash 30 days to learn more about the free bonuses, course content, and testimonials from participants. The next episode of the Professor Slots podcast will include another Slots-related topic, a review of the Slots industry in Indiana, and another thoroughly enjoyable live stream Q&A session. That's the end of another great episode of the Professor Slots podcast. Thanks so much for listening. I plan to have the next episode come out very soon for you, where I'll have more amazing content for the show. Until the next episode, have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye.